Gentlemen, ladies. Okay. Now, I want you to pay attention. So because, and the reason I'm splitting this up over two lessons is because this is confusing. This is the one part most students have trouble with. Now. Now, point slope. Hang on. Pull out your blue formula sheet. <laughs> oh, sorry. My apologies. Say, on this formula sheet, they call this slope point form. Now, hang on. As I said before, you don't have to copy these notes out yet. I'll give you time. I want to explain stuff to you. Now. Last lesson, we talked about y equals mx plus b. Now, this is the nice one because it's easy to graph because you've got your slope m and your y-intercept b. So if, I'm not asking you to, but if I said y equals 7x minus 1, where do you start? Negative y. y equals minus 1. And your slope is? 7 over 1. So you go up 7 over 1. That's real easy to graph. Yes, Taylor? I'm sorry? Yeah, sorry you're, sorry, you're right. Hang on, hang on. No, I misspoke. I should say y intercept is minus 1. Sorry, that's what I meant to say, Taylor. Thank you. All right, Khalil, heads up. All right, guys. Now, as I said, this is easy to graph. And... If I gave you a graph, like this, you can all go, my y-intercept is 2. And with a moment's thought, you can figure out the slope is. What if, well, it's my slope. I'm going down 2 over 3. Yes, I'm going down 2 over 3. So M is rise. Yes, that's easy. And that's why we like this version, and that's the version you've got to know, and that's the version Mr. Calculator uses. Yep. Now, the problem is, what if I give you an equation like this, or graph like this? Why am I hearing whispering in the background when I'm explaining the one thing I've warned you is confusing and nasty? Okay. So, <laughs> yes. Oh, sorry, minus three and one, and two comma three. Now, what can I say about that? Okay. Now, what can we find? What can we easily find? Yes, the slope. So I need you guys. What's the formula to find slope? Rise over run. Rise over run. Now, pull out your blue formula sheet. I want you to point to bottom middle where it shows you the fancy formula for M. Where's your blue formula sheet? The parallel line? No, you know this. Remember, I told you a long time ago. And you, obviously, I didn't pinch out another one, which means I didn't remember. You need this formula sheet. Lunchtime, stay until I get you one. Now, for the rest of you, M is what? Sorry? Rise over run or? Now, this is the fancy long version I told you that you had to know. And it's right there in your formula sheet. Okay? Now, the slope here is we go, what's my slope? I go over what? One, two, three, four, five, and two. Now you guys have all shown me that you can figure this out. That, and I don't expect you to plug in the numbers if I give you a graph like this. Unfortunately, you have to be able to plug in the numbers because what's my b value here? Your b 
Yes. Where am I crossing? It's like. It's like. And you have to estimate because it's not exactly. Yes. Like you have to estimate. You can't look at the graph and figure it out. It's not a nice number. So, hang on. Two point, Two point something. And, and you should know by now, unless I say estimate, I want an exact value. So you can't come up with an exact value, so we cheat and change the equation. And we, hang on, and we rewrite the equation. Sorry. So, we multiply both sides by x2 minus x1. And we get that version of the equation. Now, man, right here, we go slope point form. All right? So everybody put your finger on that equation on your formula sheet. You don't, somebody else. Guys, come on. You know if you lose your formula sheet, it's not a big deal. If you tell me, I'll print you another one. But you have to tell me and use small words. That's three people so far. All right. Now, on your formula sheet, what they do is they write it a little differently. They go y minus y1 equals mx minus x1. So what we do here is slope point equation. We have the slope and a point, not the b value. So I was going to say, Corinne, choose a point, minus 3 and 1 or 2 and 3. Thank you. Corinne just chose a point. So this is x1, and this is y1. We plug it into our equation. y minus 3 equals, what's our slope? X minus hang on, hang on, getting ahead of me. What's the slope? Uh, two, uh, five. Two, uh, two, five. two, hang on, rise of 2, run of 5, so it's 2 fifths. x minus 2. Now. This we cannot put in our graphing calculator because our graphing calculator is y equals the slope intercept form. But if I give you two points and you can't calculate b, you can graph this. Is it nice? Is it easy? No. But is it doable? Yes. Now, slope point form. Now, so if I give you an equation, sorry, if I tell you the point slop, slope and the slope of 6, how would I rewrite this equation for this point and this slope? Now, oh, I handed in the slates. That sucks. So you can't show me. I guess you have to write this out. You want to do this on slates or you don't want to do this on paper? Slates. Paper. Paper. Do it on paper. Too lazy to hand out the slates now. You have no paper? Right here. No, I got it right here. Yeah. In class without paper. Man, I'm going to enjoy this conversation with your parents. Yeah, I didn't bring paper. <laughs> you can stop now. Uh, most people, when they're on my bad side, learn <laughs> to shut it because the more you talk, the deeper the deep, deeper the hole you're digging, and it's just like stop. Really, a, <laughs> at some point, it goes from fun watching you to just not good. Shh. All right, it's not that good. So, if shh. so, what's the new slope? What's my new M or slope? Three. No, what's my slope? Six. Six. Oh, six. So this is six. What's my new X value? Three. What's my new Y value? Nine. I gave you a new point. Yes. So this works when you don't know your B value. Now, in the good old days, actually, no. Mon as I said, you guys are well behaved. So we're not going to finish this in time, and I'm not going to give you homework. But Monday, 
I'm going to give you graph paper and make you graph one of these. And you're going to go, oh, it's not so bad graphing. So if I give you a point minus 2, 6, and a slope of minus 4, now, pay attention, because I'm going to pick on Luke, what's my new slope? Yes, y minus what? So y minus 6. Now, here's the trick. What's it? What's it? What's the, ah, the, <laughs> trying again. What's the trick with x? <laughs> you can stop that. All right. Luke, before I embarrass myself again, what do I do to my x? I'm subtracting the value. What's my value? Minus 2. So what's minus minus 2? Uh -huh. Zero. Positive 2. Positive 2. Yes, that's the trick. If I give you, if it, x is minus 2, it becomes x plus 2 because you're subtracting it. So it's the same thing with 6 because it's a positive 6 and it's like you're minus yes. 6. Yep. Oh. So, a couple more. If I go minus 5, minus 3, and slope of 1 eighth. What's my new? Key, bro, seriously. It wasn't even me. Can I blame you for it? No. Then write out who did it and I'll blame them. It's your dad. No, it was, it was uh, Elizabeth. No, uh -huh. I'm not going to be a snitch. I'm going to be a snitch. <laughs> OK. Whoa. I made like many of them. Shh. Don't, don't admit it was you, because we out hunting, if I find something making that noise, we shoot it to put it out of its misery. <laughs> now, Haley, help me out here. Help rescue me from these boys. What's my slope? Your slope is 1 eighth. So it equals 1 eighth. What am I, 1 eighth, the other one half. What am I subtracting shh, from y? You know you got to turn it into a positive, so it's going to be plus 3. Yes, y minus minus 3 becomes plus 3. Good. Same with uh, x, it will be plus 5. Plus five. Good. No. No, you can't. That's the problem. If you, if you don't know what your B value is, you can't put it in your calculator. But I'll give you a sheet of graph paper. You can plot this point and draw a line with that slope from it. Now. Okay, guys. Shh. Now, if I gave you that equation, what's your slope? What's my coordinate? All right, Khalil. Now, you went minus 11. Oh, oh no, 11. Yeah. Okay. So, guys, here's the advantage of this: if you don't know your b value, or it's a weird decimal of fraction. Ladies, if you could keep the boy in line, I'd appreciate it. And notice the video camera's not pointed at you, so use your imagination. All right. Now, this, guys, Monday, as I said, too late in class now to hand out paper, but Monday, if I gave you this coordinate and this slope, you could draw that graph easy. You can't put it in your calculator, but you can draw it. Now, one last one. Y plus 5 equals 1 8 X plus minus X plus 7. Actually, no. 7 eighths. All right. Okay, guys. Last one. What's my slope? What is my X coordinate? Minus 7. And my Y coordinate is minus 5. Yes. Now, a few more example questions. Do you want me to give you the homework anyway? No. no. Well, you have been well behaved, so I suppose. Actually, no. I can't have a video witness of me being nice to you, so I have to turn this off. <laughs>